The 202nd Red Horse Squadron held a pre-deployment ceremony for service members and their families March 2nd at Camp Landing. The Red Horse Squadron is scheduled to deploy to Southwest Asia for approximately six months for engineering and infrastructure support. This is the first time they will be deploying as an entire unit. Senior Airman Harold Hughes III said, even though he has deployed before, there are benefits to deploying with people you know. It's definitely a lot easier deploying with your group because you know more people, you know, the camaraderie is already there versus the last deployment we had to integrate with people we really weren't familiar with. Uh, we made it work, but this is definitely a lot easier. The ceremony included several distinguished speakers, ranging from the Adjutant General of the State today, of Florida, Major General Emmett Kitshaw, to the so Governor of Florida, Rick Scott. Governor Scott said that he is grateful for their desire to defend the rights and freedoms of our country. I'm very appreciative that they're going, they're willing to defend our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that we can uh, live in this great country only because of individuals like this. The governor also said he would pray for the deployers and their families daily. The 202nd Red Horse Squadron is scheduled to leave for New Mexico next month to complete training before their deployment.